Hi, I'm going to show you how to set up your uh, scene file so that your blueprint is on an image plane within a properly uh, scaled scene for 1 inch equals 10 feet. And to do that, you need to set up your preferences correctly, you need to have the image ratio correct, and you need to have your grid options set up so that um, your image can be scaled and measured with those grid options. So, to start with, I'm going to create a NURBS plane, just because a NURBS plane is cleaner than a polyplane. So, you go to modeling on the top left, go down to these and select curved surfaces. Um, then go over to the diamond shape here and click on it, that creates a NURBS plane. Uh, in the attribute edit editor, go over to NURBS plane 1 and uh, you'll see the um, options for it. We're going to adjust the scale in a second. First we're going to go over to the texture. Initial shading group. Um, it's by default Lambert. That's fine. We'll go ahead and focus on that. I'm going to adjust the color to be the texture channel. Click on the box to the right of that. Go down and click File. Now, um, what we're going to do is import the blueprint. To do that, we're going to go under File Attributes, down to Image Name box. To the right is a file folder. We'll click on that. And we're going to go up to um, whatever um, address you have your um, images in. And I'm going to click on my blueprint here. I'm going to open it. And uh, I'm going to make sure that this is clicked so that uh, the textured is clicked in the viewport so you can see it. Um, but first, before I do anything more, I'm going to click on View underneath the Image Name box in the Attributes Editor. This will bring up an image of your uh, file that you've applied as a texture. Now, at the top, you'll see the size of that image. In this case, it's 858 by 1000 pixels. I'm going to jot that down. The units aren't important, it's the ratio of 858 to 1000. Now what I'm going to do is uh, come over and set uh, the relative scale of the plane there. Go over to NURBS Plane 1, and here's the scale I pointed out a moment ago. Now since I'm working in inches, that is 1 inch equals 10 feet, I figure I'll, I'll set the scale to a kind of a whole number, 8.58. You know, 8.5 by 11 for a sheet of paper, we'll just do um, 8.58 by 10. Now those are the numbers we just jotted down, and if you look at it, it's now in on a plane in the correct um, aspect ratio. Now we're going to set up our preferences. So in order to do that we're going to go to Windows, come down to Settings, go over to Preferences, and then we're going to go to Settings again, which is where you'll find working units and by default it's centimeters. But since we're working at 1 inch equals 10 feet, we're going to go down to Inches and set that. Save. And our preferences are now set up and you'll see that the grid suddenly got larger. That's because now we're in the, kind of in the same relative space. And next thing we're going to do is set up our grid options. We go down into the viewport and right click on the grid in the um, menu. Uh, so we'll see grid options. We'll click on that. Now by default it's set at four units on mine. It might be different on yours. Uh, that means it's an 8 by 8 grid. Since this is 51 by 55 feet, an 8 by 8 is more than enough. And by default, it's one grid line every one unit, and, which is every one inch. And subdivisions is one, so we don't see any more subdivisions in that. I'd like to see 10 subdivisions because this is a 1 inch equals 10 feet. So 10 subdivisions gives me 1 foot intervals. And let me apply this so you can see it. 
and it's kind of dark, so I'm going to give my grid lines and numbers a color, and I'm kind of like, oh, hey, let's do pink. I'll apply that, and you can see now that you can see it. Um, now, I want to show my grid numbers, so I'm going to show it on axes and apply that. See, you don't have to have them, but you can. Now what I'm going to do is um, scale the image. And to do that, I'd kind of like to be in the top image plane, so I'm going to go over to Bookmarks, Predefined Bookmarks, and go to Top. And then I'm going to have that fill the whole thing. Now, um, you can see that it's not quite big enough, because if I go over five units, it's clearly not big enough. So what I'm going to do is move it. And uh, I'll come up with a... Uh, a middle, a centered pivot point. I don't want it to be centered. I want to work from one edge. So I'm going to take this, hit D, left mouse click and drag this over to the edge, and it should snap to the corner if you're close enough. Now, so now I can scale it. I'll go down to the scale, and uh, actually first I want to move it over to an edge. Um, like a Maybe there. And then I can use that for measuring. I'll go one, two, three, four, and I need to come out all the way to five here, so that's pretty big. So I'll go back down to scale. And what I'm going to do is click the uh, XY scale, and I'm going to just drag that. And that doesn't affect our ratio. It will if we go over to the attributes editor, but it doesn't here. So, which is kind of why I'm just using that. I want it to be at 51.2. So I'll count over again. So five is over a little more. And I need it at 51, so that's five. And go up about one foot. Um it might help if I didn't have snapped grid turned on, so think about doing that. Okay, so I'm still at five. <laughs> A little more. Okay, it's about 51 there. Two is very close. So now I'm going to go back to move, and I'm going to make sure that the top is right at the corner there. And I'm going to check my other dimension, which is down here, and should be at 55. Um, so I'll just get that there. And we're going to count down one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to zoom in on that red point there. One, two, three, four, five, and a half, which is exactly where we want it to be. So now the image is scaled and the grid units are set up as well as the preferences.